So this patient's coming in for removal of a very firm lesion um, on the right upper shoulder. Um, there's a couple complications here. It's more firm than your typical cyst or lipomas for sure, and it begs the question that there's scar tissue here, whether this is chronic hematoma. The other complication is obviously her tattoo. Um, so it's running, you see the purple marks. On the subcutaneous level, it's actually bridging the two of them. So what we're gonna try and do is do a linear incision, see if we can dissect it down and hopefully, you know, retain as much of the scar tissue as po of the uh, tattoo as possible, but we'll see what we do with that. Um, does that hurt when I do that? No. no okay, good. So this is our number 15 blade. So you can see here the skin's very thin, it's breaking down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it looks like there's hematoma that's here. It looks like there was a, this is why I asked about trauma to it. This is why I think you had that discoloration. There was like blood underneath it. Mm -hmm. So normally it's not this friable. You can work with the tissues a little bit better. So generally what I do is I dissect down along the cyst wall and then we get back underneath it, and then we excise that out. This one, the tissues are breaking down so much and the, and the tissues inflamed that that's becoming a little bit challenging. It's not hurting at all? Nope. Doesn't hurt when I do that either? No. So all I've done is just clamp down on the edge and see if we can dissect that down. So this is hypodermis here, that's subcutaneous tissue, that's what we want to be seeing. Scar tissue. Mm -hmm. See, so just feel that there. So you can feel this here. Feel how firm that is. Yeah. It's like all rock solid. And there's nothing inside it. There's no. So now I just want to make sure that there's nothing residual that's there. And you don't remember having any specific trauma at any point in time? No. Nope. No falls or anything of that nature? No. That's pretty good actually. And the tattoo itself is like a decade old, so yeah. Yeah, I doubt it'd be that because then you'd, you'd argue if it was the pigment you were responding to that it wouldn't have sealed quite properly. Hmm. A little bit more through here still. So my concern with this is, am I gonna? So this is this will sew together, even though the skin's become friable here. That'll heal nicely when we stitch that together, and we won't have compromised the tattoo. There's a little bit of scar tissue left here. There's a little piece I think I'm gonna leave where it's at. Um, the only reason being is because that's definitely gonna compromise the tattoo significantly. Mm -hmm. um, most of it's removed, but there's an area right over top that I, I can't get that out unless I actually break down the entire tattoo. So we can always go back, so I'm gonna stitch it closed, mm -hmm. and then we'll see how that heals for you. Okay. 
and then we'll see what we're left with. It's it's, it's markedly reduced, like by about 80%. Okay. Um, and then we'll sort of see what that looks like. Because otherwise, if we had to go after that section, we could always just do an elliptical incision or a punch biopsy and take it right out. Okay. But then obviously we're completely compromising the tattoo. Mm -hmm. when you're laying your stitch, it should sit flat like that. So what I do here, where there's friable areas like that, I just make sure we're north of them. So I'll go distal, because I don't want to actually make that worse and have the skin break down further. And I should be able to lay these fairly gently. And you're okay? I'm starting to feel a little bit like a slight, but I'm okay. Okay, this is the last stitch. So something definitely happened here. I don't know if maybe in doing the tattoo, the pigment was driven deeper in this section or whether there's a trauma that, you know, was so minor that you don't recall it. Right. Um, but it definitely, all of that was with scar tissue. And so, my, my bra strap is constantly annoying it. Yeah, and that could be that it was smaller before and it just continually rubbed on it. So we'll see how this heals and then we'll see what the integrity of the tattoo looks like. It's markedly better than it was before. Okay. And then if we're not content with that afterwards, we can always revise that, but we may again start compromising the tattoo a little okay. bit. Okay.